Veronica, you're chasing Governor Christie. Before we get started, I want to check in with the Christie tracker because I know there are a series of new polls out. Apparently, the governor is averaging around 2% in the Iowa polls. Trump, high 20s. What do you got? All right. Well, I've been to Iowa to chase Governor Christie, and when I was there, I met Kathy Potts. She was the chair for the Lynn County, Iowa GOP. She previously worked on campaigns for Governor Pataki and Governor Romney, and she volunteered for Rick Perry. And she was once Team Christie. When Kathy and I met at Cedar Rapids, I asked her about those who feel that Christie's style won't translate well in Iowa. You know, do you think that's true? Baloney. But since that time, Christie has received the endorsement of Craig Paulson, former speaker of the Iowa House of Representatives. And that is when Christie lost her vote. It's been reported that Paulson removed two Republicans from a committee in order to pass a gas tax. Kathy calls that dirty politics, and she says that Christie shouldn't be associated with it. For us, that was the worst move he could have made. Dirty politics, we're just so tired of it. And now Kathy is Team Trump. The thing that's different about Trump is the money's out of the issue. He doesn't need other people to endorse him. So we've got Joel Ashbrenner in studio via Skype. Now, Joel is the Christie Beat reporter for the Des Moines Register. Have you seen or noticed the trend of Iowa voters who were once Team Christie now saying that they're Team Trump? You know, you ask people why why they, they're interested in Governor Christie, why they like him. It's uh, because he's a direct talker. He's blunt. Um, he gets to the point. Now, of course, when you look at Trump, those are all the same characteristics that he brings. So it's not hard to imagine a lot of one-time Christie supporters going to the Trump camp. Does the polling reflect the reality? I wouldn't say so. It's, it's interesting because you go to a, a Governor Christie event and he'll get 100, 120, 150 people easily. And a lot of other candidates who might not be polling as well don't see that kind of crowds necessarily every time. People want to see him, so he has a little bit of a political celebrity. The question will be, can he turn that into supporters? And so far, he hasn't been able to. Thanks, Joel. Looks like the myth has been dispelled as to whether or not Iowa voters had the stomach for that kind of aggressive politics because they're certainly responding to Trump, if not Christie.